there's two levels of broadening the movement. One is broadening the movement among the poor people that really need to be in leadership of the movement. And because they're not going to allow the sellouts. And the other is broadening the movement of solidarity and support. But in the, in the building of solidarity and support, there has to be respect for the people who really need housing. And everybody who's a homeowner is not a rich middle income person. It's only in New York where we have that concept because we are dominated by tenants. But you go out of New York and most working people and poor people, the people in the Ninth Ward were not rich, middle-income white people in New Orleans. They all owned their homes from generation after generation because there wasn't a lot of apartment buildings there. So uh, my thing is that the people who are landless, the people who are homeless, the people that are living in the worst housing stock, the poor people, the poor working people, they need to be in the leadership of this housing movement. And other people need to find some commonality with them that not romanticize about developing commonality with somebody over in Thailand or whatever, because you don't want to deal with your own Thailand right here in New York City. I remember a brother came up from New Orleans, and he was with Common Brown, and he told, he was sitting with a bunch of students at Sarah Lawrence, and they came up with all these schemes. Oh, I could give away my uh, frequent flyer miles, and I could do this and that to help them. And he said, if you walk past a homeless person in New York, don't come down to New Orleans to help us. And I think that that's, it's people getting back to their humanity is very simple. It's not complicated. What do you want for yourself? Then that's what you should respect other people should get. You want a decent house to live in, then you should expect and support other people's right to do that. But the leadership of it has to come from the poorest people, which happen to be uh, poor working people and people of color need to be in leadership of the housing movement throughout this country and literally the world. That's who's organizing the indigenous and the poor people in Latin America, South America, Africa. They're the ones who are going to be leading this struggle and they're fighting right now. It's not it's not at a low level, it's bubbling up to a high level. Maybe some people in New York might be behind and not know that that's going on, but you need to really read some stuff and really find out what's going on. People are beginning to take things in their own hands.